Hi, this video shows you how to deal with uh, contact and separate outputs inside the DAW. Uh, we are using logic for this video, but basically the workflow is very similar uh, with other DAWs. Um, so I'm loading contact in a multi-output version. Uh, 16 stereos is what we need right now. Uh, we'll wait for contact to appear. Here it is. I'm creating a couple of instruments empty, just, you know, for the sake of uh, demoing. Uh, as you can see, uh, right now I'm showing the outputs, and this is doable by uh, clicking on output up inside the contact interface. Um, I'm getting rid of the surround 5.1 channel, and uh, I'm going to create channels. So I can create, in this case, 40 more channels because I already got two. Uh, each channel is going to, be, going to be stereo, so number of channels pertaining to uh, each master channel is two. And I'll start from surround 5.1. So don't look at the name of these outputs. They are totally uh, wrong and, you know, uh, meaningless. Uh, but we already have mapped stereo 1 and stereo 2, so we are mapping starting from surround 5.11. Uh, and we are selecting, it's already selected, ascending output assignment. I click OK, and quick, you know, I get these 16 stereo buses. Uh, they are already mapped to separate outputs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 9, 10, and so on up until 31, 32. So this is basically it for contact. But this doesn't make sure that you get separate output inside your DAW, so we are halfway through. Uh, before getting to the DAW, I can assign from inside the instrument, if it's possible, uh, with the script, scripted instrument, or from the output selection over here, uh, I can assign the different outputs directly. Uh, I can also rename uh, the outputs, like, you know, maybe I have a kick here, and I may have a, ste uh, a stereo a a a snare here. Uh, this makes sure that I see the name of the outputs inside contact, so this might be useful. Uh, getting back to logic, so once you're in your DAW, uh, logic still has only the instrument one uh, and uh, the main stereo output. Uh, in Logic, for example, you can easily create those auxiliary inputs that you need to receive the actual uh, 15 more stereo channels from contact by pressing the plus sign in the mixer view. Uh, so you just click for 15 times. Okay. Uh, once you click for 15 times, you get the separate outputs from contact map to separate inputs and channels in inside logic so this is it and thank you for watching